Yeah, I mean, as I say, this has been a kind of epiphany for me. I, I, you know, I didn't, I didn't realise games could be this beautiful and this emotionally engaging. And I've long said, actually, that one of my ambitions was to score a movie. And in a way, I feel like I've done it now. Basically, the history of this, as far as I'm concerned, is a couple of years ago I was asked if um, I would be okay with um, the Drive Home song and the video that Jess Cope had created for Drive Home and the characters that Hayao Muller had created being used as the basis for a computer game. And I had no idea really, really what that, I had no conception at all what that meant, what a computer game in 2017 or 2015 as it was then would look like um, but at the same time I thought no skin off my nose sure if somebody wants to try you know I'd be very very happy you know to see what they could come up with I really had no idea what to expect it all started when I heard this song called drive on and when I saw the video I was literally blown away by the emotional impact that that video had it's wonderful, isn't it, you know, when, when something just kind of works. Besides being an incredible musician, to me, Stephen Wilson is one of the greatest composers alive today. Stephen Wilson music allowed me to dream while making Last Day of June. Massimo has been developing this game as he's been listening to my music and, and with the music very much um, as the foundation. Listening to his music while, you know, picturing out the story and, and, and the situation for Last Day of June was an incredible journey for, for me as well. The music that's been taken and used for this, um, this game spans a relatively long period of time in my music making history. I mean, some of the, some of the tracks date back early 2000, 2001, 2002. Some of them are quite recently, like routines from 2015, so comparatively new. I, th I think I feel there's sometimes a, a lingering theme between his records, regardless of the kind of style he wants to explore into. And, and picking up this kind of lingering theme was like a sort of like journey through his mind and it was like mind-blowing experience for me. So I've actually gone back and I've put it together and I've edited it together and I've sequenced it in a way that felt you know, kind of logical and like a good listening experience based on the music that, that Massimo had used in the game. And it really all feels like, it feels like it was all written for specifically for one project. I have this sort of like extremely visual relationship with music in general, because whenever I hear sounds and melodies or like, you know, moods created by music, I see pictures in my mind and, and I, it's like I'm, creating a real-time music video for what I hear. And that was the same process that I applied to uh, the creation of Last Day of June. With the difference that the source material was Stephen Wilson's music and, and as a fan myself, that was like incredibly, incredibly interesting and stimulating as well. The game in many ways, as indeed the video, has grown out of the original story and the music. I think his way of making music is extremely unique and he managed basically to build his own style through the years and I respect him because he's not afraid of trying new things. He takes risks and that's not very common in the music industry as well as not common in other industries in the entertainment industry in general. This new album I've written to the bone is all about truth and it's about the idea of truth actually as perception. You know, as human beings, we talk about this concept of truth, but I think a lot of the time truth is a kind of abstract concept that is, is almost unobtainable. So he has the ability to mix this kind of melancholic feeling, and melancholy for me is one of the uh, most important feelings in the human range of emotions, probably the most beautiful one. And he has the, you know, the power to be melancholic but open up to like brighter spaces as well at the same time and within the same piece.
think I can see now how definitely computer game computer games can be uh, art in the way that you know any art form can be art. They have reached that. They seem to have reached that point of maturity now. It's a beautiful juxtaposition of music, image, animation, emotion, and if that's if that's going on, I'll definitely have more of that. Please. Yeah.